Welcome back. So now that we have downloaded a database in our computer, the next obvious step is to download a database management system so that we can interact with our database. But rather than DBMS, we will be using Azure Data Studio for that purpose because this will also serve the same purpose and even many additional features that we usually need. So to download Azure Data Studio, go to google.com and write download Azure Data Studio. From there, please click on this official link of download and install Azure Data Studio. And here you will get this option of download Azure Data Studio. Please click here and it will take you down where you will have the option to download the Azure Data Studio for Windows. Please click on this Azure Data Studio user installer for Windows. And once you do that, system will start installing the file for you. And it will just take a few minutes. And now you can see that my file has been downloaded. I will just click here and it will take me to the Data Studio installation guide. And just give it a second. And here you can see we have to accept the user agreement of course and then click on next and it is asking you for the path which is okay let us go with the default option and click next and next and next and finally install so within seconds it will be installing the program on your computer and you can see that the installation has been completed let us click on finish and it will also launch the azure data studio for us and now you can see that I am in my Azure Data Studio and I can create a new connection to my server by clicking on this new connection button here. Let us click on new connection and system is asking you for the information about this particular server that we are connecting. Now the database that I am connecting here is the default database that is installed in my computer. So all I need to do is to give the server name as dot and we can now connect with the database that is installed in our computer. So please show that our connection type is Microsoft SQL Server and then in server that you have added dot leave everything as is and please click on connect and system will connect you to the database that is installed in your computer. And now we are connected. Here, the next thing that we need to do is to create the first database in our computer. What that means is the database that we installed was just a computer program. But now in that computer program, we can create multiple databases for our different programs that we are creating. Here, we will be creating one database that we'll be using for our analysis purposes. Let us do that in the next lecture.